The KMT's Deng Li Yin was confirmed on Friday as the new Kaohsiung City Council Speaker after she defeated the DPP's Zhang Shengfu in a 35 to 27 vote. The post she took up had been vacated when the previous speaker, also a KMT member, fell mysteriously to his death from a tall building immediately after Mayor Han Guoyu's recall in June. The DPP's candidate Zhang was flanked by colleagues as he entered the council chamber ready for battle. <laughs> then the KMT's candidate marched in, four-term Kaohsiung City Council veteran Zheng. Before the vote, the two sides shook hands politely. What ensued was a fierce competition. Both parties had mobilized their councillors and the chamber was packed full. Sixty-five councillors attended the session and cast a vote. In the end, Deng won 35-27 with a difference of just eight votes. It was nothing short of the expected as the KMT holds a majority in the council. The first thing after the election is over, of course, is the mayoral by-election, which is very important. There are only 15 days left. I will lead our councillors from all 38 districts to fight in our mayoral campaign. The KMT holds only 32 city council seats, but Zheng also gained four votes from non-partisan Solidarity Union councillors. Zheng should have won 36 votes, but there was an unexpected mishap involving one of the ballots. I gave my vote to Speaker Zheng, but it turned out the ballot paper had ripped and they said it didn't count. The place close to the upper edge was a little damaged. Maybe it ripped by accident. In addition, New Power Party councillor Lin Yukai voted for himself. His colleague Huang Jie also voted for him, meaning that the minority party nabbed two votes. Of course, we hope that in future we can become a minority party that holds the balance of power in the Kaohsiung City Council. Zheng was able to successfully emerge from this political storm to smoothly win the coveted speaker's position. KMT Chairman Johnny Chang, who once said he feared his party would be unable to hold into the post under his leadership, must be breathing a sigh of relief.